May 24. The Secret of the Quiet Heart Be still, and know that I am God. Psalm 610 Sit still, my daughter, for the man will not rest, until he have finished the thing this day. Ruth 318 Paradise has vanished from our world, as the picture of a landscape vanishes when swept by storm. And our race stands in much the same plight as did Naomi and Ruth in this old world story. We have lost our inheritance, and the one barrier which stands between us and despair is the person and work of our Lord Jesus Christ. But, thank God, we need have no doubt as to the sequel. For as Boaz claimed back the estate for Ruth, so may we be confident that Jesus Christ will never be at rest till this sin-stained and distracted world is restored to her primitive order and beauty, as when the morning stars sang for joy. Jesus is our near kinsman by his assumption of our nature. He is the nearest and dearest friend of our race, who stooped to die for our redemption. And the fact that he carried our nature in himself to heaven, and wears it there, is an indissoluble bond between us. Sit still. Do not fret. He will never fail, as he will certainly never forsake. Let us seek the quiet heart in our prayers. Prayer must arise within us as a fountain from unknown depths. But we must leave it to God to answer in his own wisest way. We are so impatient, and think that God does not answer. A child asked God for fine weather on her birthday, and it rained. Someone said, God didn't answer your prayer. Oh yes, she replied, he did, God always answers, but he said no. God always answers. He never fails. Be still. If we abide in him, and he abides in us, we ask what we will, and it is done. As a sound may dislodge an avalanche, so the prayer of faith sets in motion the power of God. In times of difficulty be still. Thine enemies are plotting thine overthrow. They laugh at thy strong confidence. But hast thou not heard his voice saying, This is the way, walk ye in it? Then leave him to deal with thy foes from whatever quarter they come. He is thy rock, and rocks do not shake. He is thy high tower, and a high tower cannot be flooded. Thou needest mercy, and to him belongeth mercy. Do not run hither and thither in panic. Just quietly wait, hushing thy soul as he did the fears of his friends on the eve of Gethsemane and Calvary. Rest in the Lord, wait patiently for him. Be still, for he will not rest, until he hath finished the thing this day. Prayer If this day I should get lost amid the perplexities of life and the rush of many duties, do thou search me out, gracious Lord, and bring me back into the quiet of thy presence. Amen.